Live from the Big Beefy Man Cave in New Bedford, Massachusetts. This is the YouTube channel vlog show in which video games, flash game show gameplays, along with sports and wrestling news, are the norm. This is the YouTube channel vlog show of positivity, good times, and fun. This is Eric Lima Shenanigans of 1977. And now, here is the host of the show, the perpetrator of these shenanigans, Big Beefy E himself, Mr. Eric M. Lima. Hello, everyone. Welcome to, that's right, another episode of my new YouTube show starring me, Big Beefy E, from my Big Beefy Man Cave in New Big Beefy Bedford, Massachusetts. This is Eric Lima Shenanigans of 1977. And ladies and gents, this is episode 51 of the show. 51 episodes. Could you believe it already? You must be thinking, Eric, you're crazy doing all these videos. Got a lot of gr ground to cover. Before I think before you know, by the end of this year, I'll be reaching 100 episodes, no less. But the fact of the matter is, we're gonna have some fun, and we're gonna we're gonna bring I'm gonna bring you the fun like I always do. Got a lot of ground, got a lot of ground to cover, folks. And believe me, it is a lot of ground to cover. And let me, and I'll guarantee you this. It's going to be crazy. It's going to be fun. It's going to be insane in the membrane. And believe me, when I know insanity, I know there's a lot of insanity going on right now. But lots of lots of good stuff happening. Lots of um, serious stuff happening too. And um, I get to address everything um, that I can. Like I said, I'm going to be as entertaining as I can. And we're going to do this. We're going to do this. I'm going to do this because I want to do this. Okay. And ladies and gentlemen, we have here another package. That's right, this is Virtually Purchased Acquisitions, the sixth episode of of this segment. There you go, six episodes of Virtually VPA. Man, I'm getting stuff in left, left and right, bro. So we're going to cut everything, and if I can, I want to make sure that everything is lined up. I'm not showing the address because some doofus ended up doxing me not too long ago uh, on this situation. So we're going to do this. I believe in Joe Hendrix. <laughs> can't get, I told you, I can't get that stupid song out of my head now. Thanks a lot, Joe Hendry. You know what I mean? Um, gotta cut it again. Gotta cut it again. I gotta make sure that... Uh, there we go. That's better. That's better. There we go. There we go. You're talking about not rolling with scissors and... Ooh, it's a Nintendo... I recognize this. The Legend of Zelda. Sure. I've always wanted a Legend of Zelda NES shirt. I will open it up. Like I said, there's been a lot to talk about, folks. Been a lot to talk about. Ah, there we go. Whoop. And oh, I'm going to be careful with these scissors because if I cut the wrong thing, I'm in trouble. All right. Let's see how I get this thing open here. All right. There we go. There's an opening. I believe in Joe Hendry. <laughs> See, just can't get the song in my head now. Alrighty. Looks pretty dark. But, nevertheless. And, uh... Yep. Oh, there it is. Okay. There it is. Look at that. The Legend of Zelda shirt. da na na da na 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 Okay. That's a 5XL. Yep. Got myself a Legend of Zelda shirt. Check that out, man. Man, I I play Zelda. I still play Zelda sometimes. Legend of Zelda, the old school Legend of Zelda. This is where it all began. The Legend of Zelda series. You know, it all begins when you do battle against Aquamentes, Dig Dogger, Dudongo, uh, Gleok, Goma, Ganon, and all the rest of the crew. That you have to do battle against, and uh, believe me, it's so. This game, this game, this is where it all began. This game this is where it all began. This game right here, believe me, really, really cool. And uh, we're go wing out. Whoops, oh, I don't want to throw it in there because I have yet to wash it. Jesus, all right, give me a second here, folks. Ah, oh, jeez. You know what the cool thing about this new room is that you take advantage of the whole situation. You clean up everything. Yeah, yeah. It's like, it's like, are you looking at us? Oh, yeah. I'll be there in a minute. 
Ah, there we go. Yes, sir. Yes, I do have a bald spot in my head. So what? Jesus. It's not like I'm getting younger, you know. It's a miracle I still have here. Because I'd be losing. Alright, there we go. Oh, boy. There we go. Ah, oh, goodness sakes. Man, what a... Yeah, the, cool thing is, the cool thing about this room is yeah, I can move around and go, Wee! Nice. You may be thinking, Eric, you're a nutcase. I know. You know. Ah, oh, I'm just very overwhelmed about this room today. I'm still overwhelmed about this room. Eh, no matter what. Still overwhelmed. How good is this? You know? <laughs> uh, yeah, can't believe I got that shirt again, man. I'll tell you what. And today's Friday and Friday, so I'm going to get paid. I have not gone out to get some... Um, I'll probably go... I don't know if I want to do any shopping today or tomorrow. Because the fact of the matter is I got a lot to do. Um, after work, basically. i got a lot to do here, though, too. And, uh, you know, people... You know, I think I've been asked for more favors than anything else. So it's like, you know... Ugh... You know, got to do it, got to do it. People want me to be on their show. People want me to drive people somewhere. It's like, <sighs> it never ends for me, basically. But that's okay. That's how it is, and that's how life is. And sometimes you want to stand there and go, okay, no problem. And just be a total, total clowny goof sometimes. Hmm, maybe I want to add more stuff to my uh, collection here. I'm not so sure. Anyways, yeah, I'm wearing my 2007 World Series championship shirt finally got the um, shirt my size it's pretty cool and i do it's gonna be a lot of fun and everything else and yeah sometimes i every time i buy a t-shirt my another t-shirt do i need a bigger bigger bureau that's probably another thing too well as long as i know how to fold these shirts right and i got that invite uh i got that uh device of mine, that folding device of mine, and help me to learn folding t-shirts properly, I think I may not need a bigger bureau. We never know what's going to happen in life. Ah, man. It's, uh, it's been close. A lot of things are happening, and just, uh, you know, trying to, you know, rant, and it's, it's, uh, like I said, you know, let's just say, let's just say this, that if you, uh, you know, there's some people I ran into, and I'm trying to play catch up with them. And sometimes you hear a lot of things you're like, okay, you know. And uh, so, and uh, you know, so I, uh, you know, I I really don't know. How to feel right now at this time? <laughs> uh, it is, you know, like I said, last day of September, man. Gonna be cool. I'll talk a little bit about that on the next episode of Eric Lee Machine against 1977. And I'm gonna end it right here. It's a little short, I know. So, uh, virtually purchased acquisitions number six. And what did I get once again? That's right, I got the Legend of Zelda shirt. Really cool Zelda shirt right here. Legend of Zelda. Oh, you guys can still hear me. Yep, Legend of Zelda right here. Okay. So, that's it. That's all the time we have on this show. It's time for me to, to uh, mosey on out of here and get the next episode going. So, Mr. Announcer, please take us home. That is all for today's episode. This is Mr. Lima speaking for Eric Lima Shenanigans of 1977. A big beefy E, do it for Bob Saget Production, and in association with a sweet bumbling bofo raver telepictures and distribution. See you next episode, and have a very blessed day. Don't forget to subscribe to the Demon Thousand Network for great more content like this one.